Hi everyone, and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to be learning about the app web recorder. What this does is it's a way to auto generate a workflow and build your bot just by clicking a few buttons. So instead of manually dragging and dropping the activities and completing the properties for all of them, this will do it all for you just by clicking around on your screen. So it is quite advanced and it's able to build some really cool automations just by clicking on your screen, but I don't recommend it for production robots. You can use it just to get a general idea of how to build a workflow or what activities to use, or just to get a general idea of the structure on how to build your workflow, but I wouldn't recommend to actually use it for developing your bots. But I'm going to show you how to use it anyway. So we can click this. Let's say we want to automate clicking or doing a calculation on the calculator. Let's do that as an example. So in order to open it, I first need to click this little pause button. So I'll pause it, gives me some time to then open my calculator. And now I can continue by clicking start recording. So let's say we want to add the numbers five. And then you can see here, it's telling us there's some possible matches found for this element. Choose the correct one. So you can see it's now detecting that we already have selectors of these in our object repository. That's because I have this little button checked. If this was disabled, it wouldn't give us this pop-up. But we know that this is the standard calculator. So let's select standard and click confirm. Okay. Now it's attaching to our application and it's clicked the number five. Next, let's click the plus and then we can then click say the number seven. And you can see once again, remember earlier, we created an object for the button number seven for both scientific and standard calculators. So we're using standard now. So I'll make sure to select the standard button and click confirm. And then we can maybe even subtract another number like say three. Okay. Note how all these other numbers don't have object repository selectors or descriptors. So that is why we don't get the pop-up like we did for seven. Next, we want to get the result. So over here, instead of clicking, I'm going to hover over that little arrow and then select the get text. So we can choose what action we want to do. So these are all the options. We can double click, type into, select item, check, uncheck, take screenshot. But what I want to do is get the text. So I want to get that and I want to then store it into a variable. So I'll click control K to create a variable, control K, and then I'm going to write it calculator result and click enter. And that's all I need to do. Then I can click this save button and it has built the entire workflow for me. So you can see it's attached to the application, which is the calculator. And then it has a click activity to click the button five, and then it clicks on plus, then clicks on seven using our object in the object repository. Then we click on minus, and then we click on three, and then we get the result. And then it saves it to this variable. So let's now drag in a message box and display our calculator result. Let me just close this and let's run it because the open application activity should open up the calculator for us. And there you go. So it opened the calculator five plus seven minus three. Oh, it looks like I didn't press the equal button right at the end. So that's why it gave us the result of three, because that's what we're showing here. I need to make sure that I add in a click for the equal. So what I can do is just after this three, I want to click the equal sign. So I can simply drag in a click. I'll search for the click activity. Here it is. I'll drag it just below the click three and I then need to indicate in the application. So I must open the calculator and then I'll indicate on the screen and I'll select the equal to button and click confirm. 
just like that. Then from there, I can close this and rerun it. And let's see if that fixed our problem. There you go. So we have five plus seven minus three equals nine. And then there we have our message box with the number nine. So that worked just as expected. So I'll just click stop there, or I could have just clicked okay and would have just ended. Awesome. So that is all for the app slash web recorder. In the next lesson, we are going to be learning about computer vision.